Hook them right through the nose. What's going on guys? Just jumped out of Bear Cut. Came out to the first tower right outside of Government Cut. Beautiful day out, a little choppy, but we'll see if I can get tight on something. Just picked up some live bait. I'm gonna probably head out to around 200 feet. There's a few wrecks out there. I'm gonna try to hit that first, and then uh, if that's not happening, I'll probably work my way back into the 100 footers. Let's see if we can get tight. Stay tuned. What's up guys, just got out here to about 200 feet. My drift started around 180, so I just dropped down like 20 ounces of lead on a live uh, bally hoop. Bait got real nervous when I got to the bottom. Assuming he just saw some schools of fish or something. Got a bunch of nice wrecks coming up on the spread here. About another couple hundred feet, I'll be approaching a nice little scattered area. Doing about 1.8 knots of current. 20 ounces seems to be holding me on the bottom. If your line starts to scope out, Kind of get farther from the boat, you got to go up in the weight a little bit. You want to fish with the least amount of weight as possible. That way you can just feel the bite better, feel a little bit more incognito when you're down there, less clunking around. All right guys, just bumped into 100 feet. I was out at 200 before, I did a couple drifts. Uh, didn't get hit on anything, but the current picked up to like three knots. So whenever that happens, it's kind of difficult to fish unless you're gonna fish like 32 ounces of lead, which is just crazy to me. So I came into 100, I found like a knot and a half current, which is like perfect. I put on a 12 ounce lead, live ballyhoo. We're gonna see if we can get tight in here. You can just mark the wrecks on your, on your GPS. You can kind of fish in between them. Let's go. Just got tight. I let him eat for a second. Feels like a decent fish. Big old cooter chasing my mutton. Holy shit. See what happens when you don't act fast. Get got. It's all right, we'll get him again. It's a nice little 20 inch mutton. Just got absolutely crushed by a cooter. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed him to the cooter. That way I can kind of keep him happy. If I can keep him happy, he won't come back for all my fish all the rest of the day. Check that out, man. Damn, perfect little mutton too. That's a part of fishing. You gotta pay your taxes. I'm okay with that as long as we're getting tight. I'm gonna set up another drift and uh, we're gonna see if we can pick that same little area. Don't be lazy. Every time you bring up a fish, if that hook was in his mouth, chuck that tip of that line. You don't wanna risk missing a big fish by not doing a quick retie. Hook them right through the nose. Send them on out. We're still in about 72 feet of water. Go ahead and send this bait down, finish off this drift, and then we'll reset. I have a feeling we're gonna get hit right when we get down here. I marked a bunch of stuff on the way back to the drift spot. I'm looking at my sonar now, I got some pretty decent activity. Got about two more wrecks coming up. I think we're gonna go right in between them, which is like the perfect condition. What did I tell you? He just got crushed. He dropped it. I'm gonna see if he comes back and picks it up. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Just got eaten up by a cuda. So I did a quick reset to try to hit the same area. And sure enough, it worked out awesome. 
got crushed. I'm just gonna try to beat this cooter to the boat. I know he's still around, even though I fed him a whole 20 inch mutton, I let him keep it. There we go, got my redemption. Got eaten by a cuda, hurried up, set up another drift. That guy came up whole. Found him. Oh, check this out. This guy's got a freaking crab sitting inside of his mouth. Let me see if I can show you guys. Look what that guy was munching on. A little baby crab or some kind of baby lobster. Must have still been hungry because he ate my live ballyhoo. Let's go. I'm gonna set up another drift and get back at it. <laughs> 